Hey guys, welcome to the wonky world of science. Today we are going to uh, have a reading, uh, a read aloud about the scientific method. Uh, the name of the book that we're reading today is called Mad Margaret Experiments with the Scientific Method. So Margaret, she considers herself to be a mad scientist and we'll find out why in the book, okay? Before we get started though, please hit that like button, that thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more amazing read alouds from Wonky World of Science. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. The title of this book is Mad Margaret Experiments with the Scientific Method. It's written by Eric Braun and illustrated by Robin Boyden. I'm Mad Margaret, but I'm not really mad. My friends just like to call me a mad scientist because I'm crazy about science of the 20th century. I have lots of good ideas. People usually come to me when they need help with a problem. I don't know everything, I just know how to figure things out using the scientific method. One day, my friend Jasper came over with a problem. Oh, I've been sneezing, Jasper said. A sneezing problem? I asked. Yeah, but I sneeze only at my friend Donna's house. Ah, I said. The case of the mysterious sneezes. What do we do? asked Jasper. I told Jasper we could use the scientific method. The scientific method is a series of steps. The steps help us figure out a problem. The first step is to ask a question. Our question is, why does Jasper sneeze at Donna's house? I said. Oh, that's a good question, Jasper said. Indeed. Well, what's the next step? Asked Jasper. I grabbed my notebook and pencil. The next step is to gather information. Tell me, what do you do at Donna's house? I asked. Oh, it's the best. We play in the backyard, Jasper answered. We make mud roads, big castles out of rocks, and moats with water. That sounds really fun. You could play with us, Jasper said. Thanks, I answered. But first, I want to figure out why you're sneezing at Donna's house. Do you sneeze when you're out in the yard, I asked. Jasper thought for a minute while he took off his helmet. No, only in the house. Great, I said. Why is that so great? Jasper asked. It gives us more information. Let me ask you this. What do you do inside? Jasper knocked on the door to Donna's house. I'll show you, he said. Donna answered the door and invited us in. Donna, this is Margaret, said Jasper. Nice to meet you said Donna. This is Ringo, she said, rubbing her face in her cat's fur. Hi, Ringo, I said. I turned to Jasper and continued. So, what do you two do when you play inside? Well, mostly we... Achoo! Jasper sniffled. Mostly, we listen to loud music and pretend to play guitar. He sneezed again. Hmm, I said, making a note in my notepad. Donna, does your, fan, your family always keep the windows wide open? It's drafty in here. Most of the time, said Donna. Then we have enough information to go on to the next step. 
form a hypothesis, I said. That's a guess about what we think might be the answer to our question. In this case, the hypothesis is a guess about what makes Jasper sneeze at Donna's house. Do you have a guess about what's making Jasper sneeze? Asked Donna. Well, since he never sneezes outside, we can rule out mud and rock castles, I answered. Woo, I'm glad said Jasper. He sneezed and Donna handed him a tissue. And since he's sneezing now, even with the music off, I don't think he's sneezing because of the loud music, I said. I bet he's sneezing because of the drafty windows, suggested Donna. Good hypothesis, I said. The next step is to do an experiment to test the hypothesis. Let's close all the windows. We closed all the windows in the house, then sat on the couch and waited. Donna put on a song, loud, and we pretended to play. At first, Jasper didn't even sniffle. This might be it, Donna shouted. Achoo! Jasper replied. Guess not, Donna said. She turned off the music. What do we do when an experiment shows that the hypothesis is wrong? We look at our information again. Then we form a new hypothesis, I answered. Is there any place in the house where the cats never go? My brother's room, Don said Donna. He doesn't like cats. Perfect, I said. My hypothesis is that the cats are making Jasper sneeze. I think he's allergic to cats. Donna, please lead us to your brother's room. Try not to bother him, said Donna. The three of us sat and waited and waited and waited. Jasper did not sneeze. Yes, he hollered. Shh, said Donna, pointing at her brother. It seems like our hypothesis is right, I said, but we should run another experiment to be sure. So we climbed up into Donna's attic where no cats ever went. Jasper did not sneeze there either. Now I know that cats make me sneeze, Jasper said. I'm happy to know the answer, but I'm sad I can't play here anymore. We'll just have to play outside more, Donna said. Come on. The three of us played in the backyard. It was a blast. Oh, I almost forgot, I said. The last step of the scientific method is to share the results. Jasper, you should tell your parents. Maybe a doctor can help you with the sneezing. Cool, Jasper said. Thanks for your help with the scientific method. Next time I have a problem, maybe I can solve it myself. Of course you can, I said, but it might be more fun if I could help you. Definitely, said Donna and Jasper. Well, it looks like the case of the mysterious sneezes is officially closed. The scientific method. Step one, ask a question. Step two, gather information. Step three, form a hypothesis. Step four, test the hypothesis. Step five, share the results. Thank you guys so much for listening to our story uh, for today or for this month, Mad Margaret Experiments with the Scientific Method. 
If you like this story, go ahead and comment below. Also, don't forget, if you haven't done so, click that like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.